everyone. Welcome back to Winterfell Camp. Me lad from the woods here. It is uh, Thursday, September the 12th. And here's my official copy with the lad vlog. Uh, again for September 12th. All right. Well, we had a good day here. Got lots done. I picked up Jeff around 1030 this morning. I did some video of that. I'll try and splice it in there or something. Anyways, uh, another beautiful day here. 25 Celsius. Beautiful, beautiful day. Not humid at all. Not even a hint of rain or anything like that, so good to go there. Um, so Jeff, I got Jeff here, and uh, I think Luke paid a trick on me. This is like the endless vape thing. So anyway, Luke, I don't know, brother. Like I said, this thing just doesn't seem to empty. I don't know how much more is in there, but it seems like it's forever. Anyway, nice little bzzz off of it. So, anyway, uh, so we're just going to get up here and take a little walk quickly here. Um, so there's the first coat. Uh, we're probably going to put a second coat on the uh, the painted, you know, uh, painted floor that Luke. Uh, Luke that Jeff did today. Um, of course that plywood is really, really dry. So it just sucked up the paint like nobody's business. So he's gonna come back tomorrow. We got some more work to do around here. Um, this one being, the, this is the main part, uh, uh, you know, main part for the boat. It's all painted up. So that's a little nicer, looks nicer. Um, the only reason I have the ATV up front here is that I brought one of the planters from the back that I wasn't using this year, but it was still full of good soil because this other plant, which I don't seem to be able to kill, not that I'm trying to do it on purpose. I just was, I just threw this plant into that planter over there. I mean, literally it just sat on top and it kept growing. I'm thinking it was going to die. Nope. Kept growing the whole time I was away. Just you know, stay. So I took the other one. I emptied what I could out of it, and uh, so I repotted this one. I think this one I'm going to bring inside, though, rather than put it at the back. Speaking of which, um, at the back I went out and uh, fed uh, the ladies uh, some Miracle Grow today. I know terrible thing, but I got to give them a little bounce. And I ordered up uh, some more of the Mega Crop, uh, the bloom stuff this time because it's bloom time, you know, buds. So anyway, that'll be here Sunday. So, but I won't uh, feed them until probably the middle of next week. But I'm going to start watering them on Sunday. We've got two more weeks of this really nice weather here. Crazy, eh? Um, so anyways, we're definitely getting things organized here. Things are really starting to ship up. Um, the weed whipper finally gave up uh, the ghost today, the old John Sered. I ended up getting it mad and I threw it in the gray water pit because it just pissed me off that bad. Anyways, I ordered a new weed whipper from Amazon. It's on payments. Um, but yeah, you can start to see the gray water pit. But I'm trying to clean all this out here because... Um, I'm going to show you guys because you can see it now. Uh, say TV can't stay there. That's in a terrible place. Hang on. Have my copy, you know, cal copy in the B-log. Yeah, the motor, I think, was finished on that old John Shred. Um, so I ordered uh, one of these weird name ones off of um, Amazon. Miwawa or some like name like that, but it comes with all these different attachments. Uh, what else? What else? Um, it's weird though, but, uh, the, the mix on those are 25 to one. And I'm like, I'm so used to 50 to one. Anyways, this one motor, 41 CC, it revs up to 9,500 RPM. I'm like, any wonder why they've got that running at 25 to one. Anyways, uh, so Jeff started to clean up back here. You know, the, that's Luke's awning, but the construction supplies are going to get more organized than it is, but we're just getting a place. He cleaned up around the uh, the old ATV trailer, which we're going to pull out tomorrow and move it up top. And he's going to uh, start taking this stuff out, out of here because those boards are going to be the new bottom boards for the trailer. And then I'll get a piece of uh, plywood so he can do the sides and we'll paint her all up and uh, put the new tire. Well, new tires for this on it the wiring and all that still good norm was starting to rewire it when he uh you know before he died so anyways um but back here's my big thing i need him i said this before he's got to rake out everything back here i mean there's like five inches of, like pine here look at this 
I want that all down to bare dirt and everything here. This all has to go in the garbage. This has to be emptied. And here's my other, oh fuck, going right in the fucking electricity. Um, this is the pipe that broke. And uh, so I pulled off the old pipe and that was running here to where the gray water pit. And this is why we are starting to cut. Anyways, uh, the old John Surratt just gave up the ghost. So like I said, I ordered a new one and it's got stuff that specially does that kind of hard brush. But we got to dig a trench from here all the way to the gray water pit as deep as we can. And then we'll, uh, True will come in and lay some new pipe in there. We'll put the uh, hot, uh, hot wiring, you know, the hot wire wrap all around it, uh, insulate it, bury it, and then that should be good. We should be done with that problem. And if he gets this right, I can, I think I still have the plate. The other piece of wood is somewhere here that covers this whole thing. It's got cutouts, you can see where they sit, kind of. Anyways, uh, we can close that off this winter so it's not uh, exposed to the uh, to the elements. Actually, I think that's this right here is where it's supposed to be. So anyhow, um, so he's going to do the big cleanup there. There's the old pipe there. I don't know if it's any use or not. I'll have to wait to see what True says when he sees it. So that that's uh, today we got done. Um, Gonna have to refill this. It's September, so that's time. I need to fill a 20 pound. I'm not gonna bother with the uh, with the big barbecues anymore because the one that I bought for the camping trip from, Canadian, or from Amazon, it's uh, Martin, I think it is. What's the name of that thing? It's good, anyways. I like it, Martin. Anyway, that's my new barbecue. It's all I need. I don't need a big fancy unit like that. Uh, I can use my smoker tube with that still if I want. So that's going to head off. Uh, still trying to figure out where I'm going to move the garbage bin because I want firewood here. And of course, this is all going to be under an awning before uh, before a big uh, December freeze up. So anyway, so that's uh, a good day of stuff done here. And like I said, I took care of the plants in the back, so they're fed. Um, I may yet, if we can, if this weather can hold out to even mid-October, you know, like where I can keep them uh, growing outside, well. I'll keep them out there as long as I can and then uh, like I say I've got the other mega crop uh, food coming for them Sunday so I'll feed them next week again and uh, we'll get uh, I can maybe salvage at least some of the plants uh, we'll see because this is lucky weather this uh, this this is August weather in September here so that's what I call very lucky weather so and that's about it um, not much else going on gonna go do groceries for my mom tomorrow Friday uh, she's got a small list but it's kind of spread out so I'm gonna be going to Carlton Place to Walmart and Freshco and then I gotta come back to Perth and do a couple stores there for her because it's specific stores that have these specific things she wants so I'll probably do Carlton Place first thing because she's got frozen stuff that's from there so I'll bring one of the little coolers with me even though it's, I probably won't really need it because I'll just shop there and then come directly back here and then I'll go back and do Perth while Jeff is working here. So, But he got a good start on it with the weed whipping. I guess you guys can see kind of like a general look. It's all kind of looking like you went through it in the lawnmower. So like I say, the machine quit on us. So we're not done anywhere near done with it. So now tomorrow, by the time it gets here, he'll have already gone home, but that's all right. I'll get it put together or whatever have you and ready and then Saturday we're supposed to go fishing so no work is will get done Saturday Sunday he's going to go look at a little house he's look thinking about renting so uh, next week sometime I'll get get him back here and uh, we'll do some more we're going I'm going to be buying a gallon of uh, I guess it was latex but the chocolate brown latex like National Park for you Americans National Park Brown. Here it's uh, for our campgrounds. I think it's called Oxford Brown. But it's that campground. You know, everything's painted that chalk brown, picnic tables, all that, outbuildings. So I'm going to start doing some of that here. We're going to do the skirting all around and the chocolate brown. Uh, it'll help keep prepare the wood. Uh, that pallet straight over there is hiding my generator. Well, not hiding, but it's in front of my generator with the little generator house kind of thing. I'm going to get that moved up closer to the trailer here and uh, get it organized. We're gonna pull the generator out, see if we put some gas in it, see if we can get that running. Uh, and then I'll get him to set up something so it's easy to get in there in case I need to hook up the generator for power. 
uh, you know, in case there's going to be like a winter outage or something that's, uh, you know, I'll need to run power at least to keep the pipes from freezing. The, the, the trailer will be easy. Uh, True's got me looking for um, um, a flat roof flange kit for six inch Selkirk. That's what I'm looking for. I've been having trouble finding it. So I'll see. I, I told him when I was trouble happening, maybe he'll find something. Uh, I know what, what he specifically wants, but I can't seem to find it. I found one thing, but it wasn't the right thing that he, that he wanted for the uh, the wood stove job. So that's about it. Not much else to say. Um, having my coffee, having a nice little bzzz. I think there's two more of these sitting in the little gift thing that he brought me. I mean, the way this is going, this will last, I mean, these three things will last like a year. I won't need anything else. I'll just keep puffing away, Zzz, you know, but I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that much, but anyway, uh, yeah, there's not much else going on. A guy went stopping pretty goods in uh, Lanark, got some bread. Uh, that's about it there because I really don't need anything. I'm going shopping tomorrow and I'm going to be making some uh, cinna sugar cinnamon French toast muffins. I saw the, uh, when Luke and I were camping, I saw it on the Facebook, showed Luke. I said, oh, we got to make these for camping. I said, wouldn't that be great with a coffee in the morning? So anyway, we never got to that, but I'm going to make them here. It's pretty straightforward, these muffins. So I'll make them here. But anyway, I don't know why I caught my eye, but the idea of sugar, cinnamon, French toast muffins. I don't know. Some, I know it's terrible probably for my blood sugars. That's all I can say for sure. Right? But anyways, we won't eat too many of those. That noise in your background is just a fan. I'm not running the AC. Um, it's cooling up and it's going to go down cool enough uh, like tonight, even though it went up to like 27 Celsius, which for you Americans is 2027 is 56, add 30, so about 86, so about 85, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. But no humidity, so it didn't feel like that. Uh, tonight is supposed to go down to. By 10 p.m., it's down to 16 Celsius, so that's just a little over 60. Fahrenheit for you guys. 15 and 15 is 60. Uh, whoops. So it's going down as cool as 14. And of course, whenever it says that on this thing, it means it's at least a couple degrees cooler because we're up on the plateau here. So um, so it's great. Don't have to run the AC because in the next couple hours, the temperature starts to drop. It's pulling lots of cool air in from the window. So no AC, just running fresh air from the outside. And believe me, the air is really fresh right now. So it's beautiful. I'm dying to go camp uh, camping. I am dying to go camping again, by the way, but I'm dying to get out in the boat now. We're going to go to just, I talked to uh, Jeff. I said, we'll just go over to Robertson Lake, not too far. We'll do some walleye fishing, see how everything is operating then and how comfortable and all the rest of it. And uh, if that all works good, then it's, um, uh, then him and I will plan another weekend where we get, uh, I, I'm going to take him to a trout lake. He's never trout lake fish, so, um, but that's where we get into some serious fishing. Robertson Lake isn't deep enough to use the new downrigger, so we won't bother with that. We'll just go with a casting rod and troll with that, and then uh, maybe a lead core in the deeper section. Even that, we don't need, really need, need to even do. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to see about re-rigging. Uh, I'm just seeing there's dragonflies everywhere. I'm like, this isn't spring. Usually they're here in the spring. This is great. It means they're going to be, uh, breeding lots of eggs. So we should have lots of, uh, dragonflies in the spring. It's good because they've been pretty scarce. But when these dragonflies get going here, man, they eat, eat and eat. The mosquitoes just like disappear. So anyways, and I've always said this before. They are my favorite of all time. Uh, if you have to have a favorite insect, well, for me, it's, uh, it's uh, dragonflies and then honeybees, my two favorite uh, thing. Well, bumblebees too, because they don't bite or anything, and you can actually pet them. But you know. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's it. There you go. So uh, again, we'll blame Digger for this. I'm just kidding, Digger. <laughs> that I'm doing this, but uh, it's okay. I mean, you know, I, I, like, I'm just going to bring the camera in quickly, unload it, go in the thing and upload uh, upload to the YouTube and the Rumble. So I did a separate copy and vlog for Twitter. So I've got it. I'll, go, I'll put that up. Not Twitter. The other one. Uh, TikTok for that one. So I'll uh, deal with that as well. But uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else to tell you folks today. There'll be more news tomorrow, that's for sure. We'll see when that new uh, weed whipper... Ma, the name of the day. I'll tell you guys and then we're going to hang this up for the day. 
Uh, Amazon Shopping, the name of this damn thing. So I go to orders, my orders, and arriving tomorrow by 10 p.m. I can't believe it. I ordered it today, and I'm going to have the thing delivered here tomorrow. Weed whipper thingamajiggy. Okay, it's a uh, Mifawa. It says it's Japanese. Um, I paid, well, it was 23% off, so $262. And then they gave me a $50 coupon off, so that made it down to $212. So it was like, okay. And it, it came with, I don't know, you guys can see all that. Came with all that. So, I mean, uh, it has like way more stuff for brush and all that, so it's useful here. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, I don't expect much. It's, you know, under, uh, well, just over $200 for a weed whipper when a good husky is probably around 500. Still is probably, uh, steel is probably way up there in the price. And I mean, those are probably the two best makes, but the steel in particular. But um, I looked at electric ones. I just don't feel comfortable enough yet with the electric, electrical ones. I need to actually borrow one and try it out before I think about buying one. But anyway, this gas one's good enough for what we're doing around here. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to say. Uh, it comes with the, you know, the strings that come out with, then there's thick haystack kind of grass, which is that kind of the, this one here in the middle. That's like a regular thing. And then there's this blade, which is for branches and stuff. But I was watching, it says branches, but he was doing grass with some of these, uh, with this blade. So I don't know. Anyways got to be better than the John Shred. We couldn't even get it running properly. It just kept uh, stall, like wanting to, it, w it wasn't making up its power. Uh, I don't know what uh, what happened to it, but it just uh, suddenly, and then the weed uh, whipping end just suddenly came all apart in pieces. It was like, okay, I've had enough. I got mad at it and literally threw it in the gray water pit. There's Jeff having a giggle. I was like, you really did that? I'm like, yeah, I did. I said, when I get pissed off at something, that's it. It goes flying. So <laughs> the, the only thing that hasn't made it to the gray water pit is that phone. Anyway, I, I got the thing out of the gray. I don't want that sitting in my gray water pit with gas and everything in it. So I took it out, obviously. But just so I could feel like I it was like, fuck you, John, John Sred. The, that, it's not worthy of the name John Sred, what John Sred name used to mean. They say, well, Husky makes them, but... I don't know, man. They're not as good as the Husky stuff, I just find. Now, my John's Red Chainsaw, true as that. Now, he maintains it really good, but it's a good chainsaw. So, at least that John's Red's still good. But it's an older chainsaw, too. It, this uh, John's Red Weed Whipper was newer. 2680, GT 2680 or something like that. Anyway, I'll never buy John's Red small engine stuff ever again. And, I, well, even if I buy another chainsaw, it won't be it won't be a John's Red. Or, uh, it'll probably be a steel still i don't know how you say it s-t-h-i-l i-h-l steel um, i've heard people call it both ways up here my friend randy calls it steel i have other friends that call it still i don't know anyways whatever all i know is they're good so yeah i guess we'll call it quits it's 18 minutes so try and keep these at 20 minutes or less um they do take a while up to load too so but i'm filming this one on the and the osmo now not on the phone camera um i just don't think the videos are as good as on the phone camera boy there's a lot of mosquitoes just suddenly there's a lot of mosquitoes there wasn't any and now there's a whole bunch of them so copy with the v lad copy with the v lad i did do a video of all the work with the plants in the back but i can't put that on youtube so you guys will have to go to rumble on that one i'll maybe put a little short video saying hey you want to see uh you know, my uh, my grow in the back and everything. We well, got to go to rumble.com. Rumble.com slash C, like the letter C, another slash, and then lad from the woods. Anyway, I always put the address now in the uh, the videos if you're looking for it. So, but we'll do that. So there we go, 30 seconds left. So please like, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want to support anything around here, financially, whatever have you, uh, paypal.com slash lad from the woods, but all that stuff's down in the description. Uh, please be good to your fellow human, best thing you can do in uh, life, I guess. And uh, as Mr. Spock would say, and it's a great saying for everybody and everything, peace, long life, and live long and prosper. I mean, what a nice thing to say to someone, right? And have them answer back. Okay, everyone, be good. Okay, uh, be good. See
you later. Bye-bye.